Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you uh, a bit of comparison between the 12 Recovery 3.0.0.0, which is the latest, versus the 2.8.7.0, which is which was uh, at least uh, a year ago or 10 months uh, old. So here I have a Galaxy S4 and a U Euphoria, and you should be knowing the reason why I purchased the U Euphoria, because it gets the uh, majority of developers. So I'll just restart into the recovery. Go. I'm just focus on one. Okay. That should be good. One is bigger, one is smaller. <laughs> and as you can see, the S4 is in lead. <coughs> Sorry for my voice. Nope. <laughs> the euphoria is also catching up and yes uh, the newer version is uh, very faster to load as you can see and it's much really like material design but it is messing up with my brightness so let's just adjust it by going to the settings and there are many options right now over here there should be a display okay let's just keep it to my camera wise okay that should be good It should be a good one. Sorry for that. Let's just move on. And as you can see, the both of the recorders are pretty much the same, but here we have more material design and a new layout. Uh, in my case, the new one looks like a, a phone. I don't know why my camera is not focusing over here. Okay. New one is like a more phoneish type, as you can see. We have a material like status bar which is tinted in blue color. Also, the uh, keys have been moved, like the home button is in the middle and the back on the left. Here, we have the back on the right and the home button on the left. Let me just focus on my hand really quickly. Sorry for that. Okay. So, many of the bug fixes uh, have been found uh, by me over here on the new one. But pretty much the same as you can see if you go into the settings You have a new tab style layout Here we have vibration duration, uh, resort defaults, rest sorry restore defaults, time zone, screen And many more options over here Like um, it's a more sorted out uh, interface which is good We also do get language over here which I can't see in the uh, old one Vibration is a uh, yes, vibration is still the same option. Sorry for that. Okay, and signature verification. Uh, here I can see okay, reverse layout for the navbar. So you can get the old style, which comes in handy. You get also a bit of a more detailed time zone options. Screen is still the same. Here we can just set the time mode which can be done in the older one too vibration and the same thing again but uh, the older version of twerp just weighs around 7 mb to 19 mb as per your device but this one weighs around 33 to 23 mb which is very heavy ui but as it contains the language which is good also if you go into the mount settings i was getting some error in the euphoria but now everything is working everything can be mounted just not the usb otg as it doesn't support as you can see everything can be mounted over here too uh, here is the efs option over here but i can't see it over here you can directly mount the usb storage but it's still not working as per your device in install it will be the same also oh okay that's the same but uh, more refined in the wipe you get a new layer for the swipe thingy and it's much smoother than uh, before advanced swipe here still we have more options like preload and internal no preload is only there and i look at the same story over here i'm getting hard to use in the new one here we have the restore still the same but we can select storage uh, like SD card and internal storage over here on the new one 
and uh, same thing over here adb side load partition so you can partition sd card from here which is uh, very awesome wow which is essential for the marshmallow if you are using reboot here we have a bootloader option whereas here is a download mode on the samsung so guys thanks for watching also subscribe to my channel if you want to see both of the installation videos for both of the device and also the tab 4 so stay tuned and thanks for watching peace